Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing an, a video I am so excited to make. I am going to be doing a review of the new Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Um, this came out last Wednesday on the 5th of September. I literally got it. I ordered it on the day. It only just came a day. It is currently the 12th of September and I'm going to be doing a foundation review of this today. I'm going to be doing a wear test as well during the day to see whether it like whether it moves, whether it gets oily during the day. I'm not going to be powdering after obviously I've done all my makeup. I'm not going to be powdering during the day. I'm literally just going to be doing how long it lasts on my skin. I have got fairly oily skin and um, get really oily down the centre and then I'm quite dry around the rest of my face. So yeah, if you want to see what I think of this foundation, then just keep watching. So this foundation comes in a glass bottle, which feels really quite expensive. I think this was nine pound. How much did you get in it? You get 23 mils, which is slightly less than what you get in a normal foundation. Normally a foundation will come in 30 mils. Um, you'll get 30 mil of products, so you get slightly less, but it's only nine pounds, so I'm not that bothered and then twist it open and it is a huge dofa applicator um this is also supposed to be just like the exact same packaging as the conceal and define concealer which i have and i love and i just bought the super size version of it so this is a super size version and then this is the regular size so as you can see you get i think three times as much product there's four grams in this and 13 grams in this so you get just over three times um the amount of concealer and i love this stuff i'm going to start off by moisturizing my face using my soap and glory speed plump which is what i do before i always do my makeup i'm going to be doing exactly the same as what i always do with my makeup with this foundation just to give it a fair view i'm trying to avoid my eyebrows because i've already done them on to the foundation i'm just gonna open that up and just dry it around my face i literally have no idea how to use and i think the only problem i have with this foundation is that with it being a dofa i can't really tell how much I'm using it's not like I can just go oh yeah it's a you know it's a pump no it's two pumps or whatever I literally can't tell buff and brush from Real Techniques just to buff that into the skin this is supposed to be a dupe of the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation ooh ooh that's nice Uh, my camera decided it didn't want to work anymore um, so I've blended in that foundation and honestly that is so nice I wouldn't call it full coverage it's definitely more medium especially in real life if you can see that's that's really nice it's a uh, it's a demi matte finish it is not really shiny and oily it's not really dewy it's very it is a demi matte finish i really, really like it now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take you know my conceal and define and i'm just gonna conceal my face how i normally would as i said i'm literally gonna just do i'm gonna do everything how i normally would so i'm concealing as much as I normally. I'm gonna powder that down with my Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder, as I always do. I'm literally gonna do exactly the same as what I normally do to give this foundation a proper test. Right, so that is it all powdered down. Um, I'm going to be doing a few updates during the day seeing how it's wearing stuff like that i'm now just going to go and film my um heather duke look video and then i will be right back to give you a little bit of an update because that'll be in about 
an hour it's currently quarter to two and yeah i'll just see you when i so as you can see guys i have done the rest of my makeup um and i really like this foundation i love how it looks it looks very very like full coverage it is so it is exactly like my skin tone oh, i am in love with this this is so good Honestly, I've got no words. We'll see how it wears during the day, see if it lasts long on my skin. Um, but yeah, so far I am really liking this foundation. I'll probably give you an update in about two or three hours after I finish doing my next video. Um, and after I've finished editing and stuff like that. And I'll just let you know how I get on with it and how I find it. So it has been about two hours since I put on the foundation. And... There hasn't really been much change. Normally it would have sunk into my um like my forehead lines like quite a bit. It really hasn't done that. Um normally it started to get oily around here and on my nose. Um that shine on my nose is my highlight. It really it's still looking really, really good. So I'm quite impressed with it so far. It is currently five to four. Um I'll probably just update you in about four or five hours. All I've really been doing at the moment is editing. I've uploaded a video and stuff like that so yeah it's just a lazy day and I'll uh, I'll let you know what I think in a bit. It's currently 10 to 6 so I've had this on for about 4 hours now and as you can see it's starting to come off on my nose but to be fair, oh it's sunk into my forehead lines a little bit. But to be fair, it hasn't gotten oily or anything, so I'm really quite impressed with this at the moment. Um, I'll probably update you in about an hour or so, because uh, I really don't like wearing makeup in the house, I feel really weird. So I won't want to keep this on for too long. Sorry if you can hear crying. My dog is sat up on there because Owen's just left the house and he does this every time one of us leaves the house. So, yeah, I'll give you an update in a little bit. So, it is now 20 past 11. I'm just sat chilling with the boy, Fuzzy Plays, GTA. Are you going to stream? Mm -hmm. What's your stream and what are you doing on? <laughs> I'll link it down below. But, yeah, the foundation has been on for about eight hours now and it's pretty much completely came off my nose. And my forehead... But that happened with every foundation, so I'm not that um, bothered. But yeah, it didn't get particularly oily. It has around here, but that is literally about it. It has done really, really well. I'm really impressed with this, considering it's only £9. I think that is. That's class. You're just going to ruin it. Why? Why you do that? So, yeah, I would fully recommend... <laughs> <laughs> you find this really weird, don't you? No. Good, good, good. So, personally, I would highly recommend this foundation. I think it is really, really good. Uh, it's only nine pounds as well, which is insane. Uh, by the way, the colour I use is F1. I don't think I said that to start of the video, but the colour I use is F1. That is the end of another video, guys. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment down below what you would like me to do next, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Say bye. bye.